If you're thinking of living out of your car, definitely watch this video. If you know someone that's thinking of living out of their car, or simply likes to sleep in it from time to time during long trips, please send them this video. It might keep them out of danger. In one of my first videos, I talked about the experience of living out of a car. In this video, I want to talk about how sleeping in your car can potentially be dangerous to your health and how I learned to get around that. You see, a little over a year ago, I found out that I had a blood clot in my lower left leg. I plan to make a video all about that event, but for now, let me just say that blood clots are critically dangerous because if left untreated, it is likely that a small piece of the clot will break off and travel through your bloodstream up into your lungs, your heart, or other organs, and once they cause a blockage in those areas, you are at serious risk of injury or death. Now, the doctors were never able to tell me what the cause of the clot was, though I did reveal to them that I had been sleeping in my car continuously. Therefore, I don't know for sure if sleeping in my car was the cause of the clot. Still, as I was researching all that I could about blood clots, I started to wonder if the way in which I was sleeping in my car was the root of the problem. Prior to being diagnosed with the clot, I slept in my car in one of two different ways. In the front seat with the seat reclined or sideways in the back seat. Because one of the primary causes for blood clots is poor circulation through the legs, I think that it's possible that these two sleeping positions could put you at risk. In the first position, although my body was laying straight, my legs would always be at a much lower elevation than my heart. Plus, in this position, the edge of the seat creates a pinching point on the back of your legs. It is widely known that doctors recommend getting up to stretch during very long flights. I like having a little space where I can stretch out, maybe do a little exercise, get the blood flowing in my legs again. So, so perhaps this position, which is similar to the seated position you would have in an airplane, was the cause. In the second position, the crucial factor is that my body is too long to lay completely straight. This means that during the night, my legs would be constantly bent at the knee, and my body could not automatically move around and stretch during my sleep. To me, this seems even more likely to have been the cause for the clot. Again, it was never confirmed what the cause of the blood clot was, despite me mentioning these things to my doctor. Of course, I myself am not a doctor, so I could be talking a bunch of nonsense right now. But given the dangers and the risks of blood clots in your legs, it's definitely worth bringing up to you in case you've ever thought about living out of your car or just sleeping in it during long trips or something. Okay, with all of that being said, how and why do I continue to live out of my car? Well, as mentioned in some of my other videos, I have meaningful reasons for why I want to live in my car. And so I've had to come up with ways to sleep in here without compromising my health. Because I have a Honda Civic, which is definitely not a big car, this is what I do. First, I have to put the back seats down so that the interior of the car is opened and joined with the trunk of the car. With this space, I can just fit my entire body completely straight. The next obstacle is that this platform is not completely flat. When folded down, the back seats are still a bit higher than the floor of the trunk, making it really uncomfortable and probably very bad for your body to lay down just like this. To fix this, I went to a local outdoor gear store to buy a sleeping pad. Sleeping pads are used when you go camping in order to keep your body elevated off the ground. The sleeping pad I have is larger than most since it is 2 inches thick. I can roll this out and inflate it so that I can use it for a more comfortable and even sleeping surface in my car. Once that's done, there is still a slight difference in elevation between my upper body and lower body. So the last step is to use items in my car such as towels, blankets, or clothes to put underneath the lower part of the sleeping pad. Now I have a flat, soft surface on which to lay fully extended in my car. So that's my video on ways you don't want to sleep in your car and my workaround to sleeping comfortably. Again, if you know someone that's thinking of living out of their car, please share this video with them so that they are aware of some of the potential dangers and risks of doing so. Thanks for watching guys. If you want to hear my story about the blood clot, also known as a deep vein thrombosis, subscribe to my channel and click the little bell under this window so that you'll be notified when I post the video.